hey guys welcome back to the channel my name is tommy james in case you're new here and if you're not new thank you so very much for coming back to the channel today so guys in this video we'll be making the famous um boho french coils unit and we're going to be making it as a wig i have this um um french coils from a wig i made before so i am going to be using it first for the base in this old wig i use this tutorial is going to be very detailed guys very very detailed in fact so yeah i i already have my wig cap um picked or adjusted i have a video on that in case you do not know how to adjust your wig cap so that it's not too big it's not too um not sitting pretty on the head you have to compose really have to adjust your wig cap so what i did is i have this 24 inches french coils like i said and then i cut it into three so i cut it into three and i'm going to be using the first three to almost um more than half of the wig here into three 24 inches into three you can use 30 inches but just make sure there's no point in cutting as um too long where you still have to you know trim it out a lot even this one i trimmed out a whole lot so talk like some people saying cutting into two so the thing i would advise strongly advise is please use original french coils use original french coils if it's on the edge then you can use all those darling um expression those kind of ones they use for this style majorly but if it is as a wig please use original french coils so what i'm just going to do is just to show you how to work on french coils pretty much i'm going to of course put um the hair in and then i'm going to try to divide this one into three regular attachments you have to put it in and then take another one to make three strand but this one you just use the one that you've passed inside your with your crochet pin i hope you understand it because it is very silky if you try to use another one to pick it it is going to be you know it's not going to be firm so this is just basically how to work with french coils this is what i'm teaching you here ordinarily if it was a long one i would not um make a knot but because it is short and we don't want it to be um unraveling so we are going to tie a knot like that the long one no i just drop it maybe four inches remaining or five inches remaining i drop it so now i'm going to make a line if you're a professional you don't need to make a line but for the sake of those that uh, my first timers this is how to make a line to braid your wig it just gives you the, the sense of you know this is how i want what i'm doing to look like it doesn't make it too heavy it helps you to space it helps you to you know know what to work with if you're a first timer if you are a professional then you already know that okay this is how i space it this is how i do this so yeah basically yeah, I'm just showing you that how to braid in between, in between the last, the the last line. If you do not know, understand what I'm saying, I have a video already. I'm going to link it in the um, description box so that you can know what I am saying. So we are here, and do not worry. I'm going to, I'm going to tell you what we've done so far. So for like nine lines, nine, yes, I have used into three. That's them into three. I'm going to use it for up to twelve lines. Yes basically before the line before um filling of the track is where i'm going to start using into two so this is still into three and i'm going to show you how to make that the one i showed you before does not have the boho thing the boho what boho means is just the um air strand that is you know doing walla walla <laughs> in the braid yeah so i'm just going to show you here how to you know give it that boho effect that coily that extra coils that it has i'm going to show you carefully in this clip here yeah? so after you know passing your crochet your your french coils into the um, net you start braiding braid for like maybe two or three times or five times not two or three times please after braiding watch carefully i'm going to go over it again do not worry i set one aside a strand i pick a strand you know outside one of those three strand and then i set it aside and i continue to braid i set out one you know we've we've divided the the, the strand into three after i braid like five times inside one of those three i pick out just 
the amount that I want and then I set it aside. You can hold it with a clip or something so it's not getting in your way. Um, then I start, I continue braiding without braiding that one that I have set aside. And then when I braid, then I tie the knot. And that's just what I've been doing. I'm going to show you again and maybe you just watch. It is very, very self-explanatory. So you see me as I'm trying to just set one strand aside, not the whole of a strand, not the whole of the three strand that you've picked, just a little out of any of the strand. You just set it aside, then you continue braiding, and that's how to just give it the boho effect. All right. So practically, basically, yeah, this is just everything you need to do. Just tie the knot, tie the knot multiple times when you are done tie the knot multiple times and one thing about this unit is that you have to layer it the, the the down part must be longer than the one following than the one following then it gives it that layer effect i hope you understand so there's another um new french coils and yeah i'm just going to divide this into two and use it for the whole front and the filling of the track in case you do not know what i mean by filling of the track i have a video on that already if you're a braid rig vendor a professional you must fill the track of your braid rig as that gives it the professional look yeah so please try to get good original french coils please it is very important you don't want to make a unit and it is a mess the next day you want them to use it for two years three years four years in fact so yeah so basically i'm just going to cut into two the i'm still going to fill these ones with into three there's still you can see there's still the extension the french coils on the mannequin so yeah that's just it basically that's what we have we are done same thing over and over again what i did with this frontal is that i didn't put bow on everything you can see i've trimmed down i have um leave-in conditioner on it already so it's a bit more calm i didn't put bow on everything because i don't want it to be too messy you just want it to have that you know sweet style and not too rough if the bow is too much it's going to give pick and drop kind of you know vibe so yeah basically that's it simple elegant very full i use just two just two french coils please get original please get original french coils that is that is the important thing because you want it to last forever so we are done this is what it looks like so you can definitely pack this into any style the center the middle the side the up the what have you it is given everything and i love this unit because it is very versatile i do not like to make trendy style into wigs but this one i figured that it is versatile in two three years you can still wear this wig and people will still say oh wow this looks beautiful it's not just that you know those kind of trendy style that just come up and they, they you can rock them again in two years so this is what it looks like on my head it's giving everything it is supposed to give so guys i hope you learned a thing or two if you enjoyed this video please like comment subscribe if you haven't and until i see all of you amazing people in my next video please stay safe i love you bye